What's up guys, we're back again with yet another bus build video. Uh, behind me you can see uh, I've got some cabinet carcasses I've been building. Um, I did build them all off camera. Um, if you want to see how I did that, I will link a video up here. You can watch it. He'll be a lot better at explaining the process of how to build a cabinet. Don't be surprised uh, when you see the bus. We've done actually quite a bit of work off camera. So um, I'm gonna go show you that and then we're gonna set this cabinet right here. All right, last time we were in the bus, you saw us put this cabinet in back here, the closet, and then this one right here. Since then, we've put the face frames on the cabinets, upper, the upper cabinets anyways, and filled in all the nail holes. Um, what you can't see are the two bench seats I built. Um, I just measured them and used butt joints with pocket screws and glue. It's not real complicated. You can find videos on that online as well. The, the last cabinet that I just built, um, it goes right here by the doorway. Uh, so I'm gonna get that and put it where it goes. Now when I screw this in, there should be plenty of room for the frame. So here's a pro tip for people who are somewhat new to the woodworking kind of thing. I'm still an amateur myself, but this is like something I found very useful and it's overlooked and it's thought of as old technology and people don't want to use it. Um, I have a block plane for things like this, I had to scab two pieces of wood to make it uh, stick out the right dimensions I needed so there's about a quarter of an inch sticking off and that would be a lot of wood to sand so a uh, pro tip from me personally I like old hand tools and they work very well for the application they were intended for so I'm going to show you how I trim that up to be flush. I think that's pretty good. So what would have taken me a long time, I was able to accomplish in just a few minutes and it leaves these shavings like this, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's not, it's a lot easier to clean up than dust from a sander. So that's my pro tip, uh, if anyone was wondering. All right, guys, I'm gonna sign it off for today. I didn't get as much done as we uh, had planned, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and call, call it for a day. Um, I got all of this trimmed out down here, as well as the closet, and then I still like these two other cabinets over here that are by the fridge, but um, that's going to be all for today. I'll see you when I see you. <sighs> Alright, what is up guys? Um, it's been about eight days, nine days since I last recorded. We were working on trim and cabinetry. Um, the last time I was out here working, I broke the lift to the table saw. It put us a little bit behind schedule, but I think we can get some, some stuff done this week. Uh, we typically work on the weekends, but it's getting hot, and if I can break up the days into you know, a couple hours after work each day, I think it'll make the process a lot faster. So uh, I'm gonna fix this, and then I'm gonna start working again. Sunflower. 
All right, guys, we're back in business. So I uh, don't really remember where I left off when I was building, so I'm gonna have to kind of figure out where I, where I was at. It's been like a week since I've done anything, so you know, let's get busy. So for the face frame in between the drawers, uh, I want to allow as much uh, height in between the drawer uh, spacers. So instead of doing the two inch like I did around the outside, um, I'm going to do like an inch or so just to give me my maximum amount of clearance when I want to get stuff in and out of the drawer. Um, it won't hit the face frame. All right guys, I'm gonna cut the episode here. Uh, I got all the face frames put in finally. Um, there's still some finishing work to be done, like sanding and filling all the nail holes in and the seams and stuff. Um, but we have all of them face framed. Our closets face framed, upper cabinets, lower cabinets. I just finished the lower cabinets. It's really hard to kind of get a good angle in here with uh, trying to selfie mode this thing. But there's all the cabinets. Um, you can kind of see better from back here. So uh, this side uh, that I'm sitting on is the sink side with the closet. That side will be um, right here in the front. This is a dirty clothes hamper, which we didn't originally uh, design to be like that. but um, we had some dead space to fill because of the will well, so it turned out pretty good. Um, we got a spot for our fridge, cut out of the middle, and then we got two drawers up there for kitchen utensils and stuff. And the bottom one is going to have uh, bigger things like uh, an instant pot and a griddle and stuff like that. Uh, we're not going with any gas or induction cooktops so we're just going to use an instant pot and um, a griddle because you can pretty much cook everything you need to with those two things um, you know granted a few things but me and Hannah aren't really chefs anyway so um, we'll get creative enough to make our meals with this those two things but um, anyways thank you guys for watching uh, I know it's been pretty inconsistent as of lately but um, you know things break and um, you know we do have a, a life outside of working on the bus too so kind of got to fit uh, fit this in our schedule sometimes you know hopefully we'll be able to put out more uh, content consistently because um, it is spring um, it's really close to being summer actually so um, we'll be working less uh, less hours and have more free time so granted it will be hot it's already hot today but if you live in texas you know that it can get a lot worse than this today i think it's only like 93 today um, we expect it to get 10 degrees hotter this summer so anyways um that's all for this episode um go ahead and check out uh mwa's um cabinet making tutorial that's what i use for all these cabinets um and then, you know, he shows you how to make doors later in the episode. Um, that's what I'm going to be following as well. So when we make our doors, um, you can reference that video as well. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.